In this video, we'll take a look at what you can do with the custom headers in the Caliber WordPress theme. The first thing we're going to do is go to the admin, and in the Caliber theme options area, we're going to take a look at the default header settings. Right here, we have headers. The first setting, Use Page Headers, lets you choose if the default header should show on blog posts and pages. Some of the defaults that we can configure are the header color, and that's a background color for your header, the header background image, header size, and this is a vertical size. The options are auto, small, medium, large, and extra large. Header content position. This is where the content vertically aligns itself. So if you want the content to be at the top, the middle, or the bottom of the area where your header is shown, auto just means that it's not going to assign a location. And the header content width, like other areas of Caliber, we can use a full or a fixed width content area. The header content source, if you select a default here, it's going to choose what content shows in your header for any area where you assign a default header. These are pulled directly from your content blocks, and we don't have a default assigned on our demo, but up here under content blocks, this is where you create the content that you're going to put into your headers. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. Here we'll see that we have the header full screen sample, header portfolio, header team, header blog, and header homepage. Obviously, these are being used in the areas being described. We'll take a look first at the home page. To do that, we're going to go to our pages and we will go to the home page. For this page, we're using the live editor to create our content, but we still have the header being assigned as a separate design element. To look at that, under content options, we have header. It's currently set to show header, sizes medium. Vertical content align is middle. Content source is header home page, which is from the content block section we were just in. And the background image is set to no image. Let's take a look at what these settings are doing on our website. Here we can see our home page and the header section being created using the settings we were just looking at. You can see that there's some text being added from the content block assigned to that header. Now we're going to take a closer look at how that text is being created. We'll go back to our WordPress admin, and in the Content Block section, select the Home Page Header, which was the one assigned in the Meta Options for the Home Page. Let's take a quick look at the content that's being added here. We've chosen to add this content using the Text Editor, but if you're more comfortable working in the Visual Editor, you can do that as well. You can switch that by clicking the tab in the top right corner of the editor area. The first thing we've added is a paragraph tag. The paragraph tag has a class in it for pre-heading. It's written pre-heading. And the text creative plus marketing plus digital. After that, it has an H1 element for the heading, solutions for a connected world, and after that, a paragraph with the class lead and a margin setting for the style of bottom zero and the text, we make beautiful digital products grow your business. And going back to our homepage again, we can see how that content looks on our website. Next, we'll look at a blog post where its featured image is being shown in the header. In the post settings, we'll see that the header has been set to medium, no content, and featured image, which means whatever image we assign here in our featured image is going to show on the page. By comparison, this blog post has no header assigned, and as you can see, it makes a big difference in the appearance. And here we have another blog post with a featured image in the header, but this one has the size set to large. Here's an example of a page with a full screen header and a content source selected from the content blocks area. Full screen headers mean that the page will always span the full height of the browser top to bottom no matter what size screen the visitor is using. We can see that the header is set to show header, full screen, and the content source header full screen sample. Our background image is the featured image, which we can see here. 
In some cases, you may need the featured image to be something other than what's shown in the background of your header. This might be the case for a blog post or some other situation where you need slight differences in these images or for a very specific purpose. To do this, change the background image to custom, select an image, and save the page. We'll refresh the page to see the changes. And now you can see the background image is different than the featured image. Let's also take a look at changing the content that we're assigning here. Instead of selecting a custom content source, we're going to leave this blank and we're going to tell the page title to show in the header. Refresh the page. And now we see the title for the page, which is set to a line left. If you wanted to have your title centered, a simple line of CSS in your theme options can take care of that for you. We'll go to our admin, go to Caliber, Theme Options, choose Advanced, and in Custom CSS, we're going to enter the ID header and set Text Align Center. Save, and now we can see that our titles are aligned center. This setting will affect all pages where we have titles or other text in the header. For example, now our portfolio is centered, our blog post is centered, and the team page header is centered. That covers our basic overview of the custom headers, how to assign content, set up the defaults, and put images, text, and other elements into your headers. Thanks for watching.